Hi guys, um, this video is a lot not tutorial inspired by Jazzy Tay 007. She did change her name, so I'm gonna put her uh, YouTube name here. But she was originally Jazzy Tay 007. Um, anyways, my hair is freshly washed, and I if you see little white bits in it, I put in the Cantu, the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner thingamabob um i did a review on that you can check out the tutorial here um yeah so i just kind of run that through my hair and down to the tips and then the oil that i reviewed last week i put kind of rub that into my roots so i'm going to be using one lock per lock knot and i'm just gonna rub a little gel on the root to retwist it I think I've never actually done an official lock retwisting video, but anyways, um, yeah, I just rub a little gel on the base to retwist it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold the lock to the point at which you want the um, lock knot to end. So I want it to kind of frame my face because I'm going to be doing it into a sharp bob. So I'm going to fold it up here like so and then I'm gonna twist it like so and then I'm gonna take the lock knot and then sorry take the rest of the lock and wrap it around that twist that I made and then the easy thing or the nice thing about this um, tutorial is that you only need a rubber band so then at the end you just going to use a small black rubber band to secure the end that's it that's cute that's cute now i'm going to try this one again i actually interlocked this one this morning that's why the root kind of looks like that this and this lock, these two, those are the ones that I sewed back on. So I sewed it on around here. I don't know if you can see the bump. Yeah, you can see the bump a little bit there. So that's where I sewed it on. So it's doing quite well. So I'll just do another one quickly, as I always do. And I'll try to get it fairly close to where that one was, like that. So you just kind of twirl it and then wrap the lock down. So that's that. I will check back in with you guys once I've finished my entire head. See ya. Hi guys. So it took me about an hour to completely finish my hair. But um, yeah, it's super, super short. Hmm, I'm really not sure if I'm going to wear it out like this because it is just so short. And then obviously since I still have the undercut at the back, you know, I don't have anything hanging down here. So I'll just turn around and show you what it looks like. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will be unraveling it and showing you the results of the, um, of the take down. It's definitely useful for these super hot days. I'm not to be showing off to you guys who are kind of get him winter now but it's definitely good to have this hair off my neck because even sitting here now i am hot so when my hair is in its full glory you can just imagine how hot it is so i will decide how long i will keep this in um it's not too bad but it's just so short i just feel like i just started my locks and uh, so i'll check in with you guys later with the um with the tape down
So that's it for this week, guys. Thanks again for watching. Any comments, questions, at below. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. All the links are down below. I definitely, definitely love the results. Um, it's, a, it's a very similar outcome to pipe cleaners. And I love the before stage where my hair is super short and off my neck. And it's definitely going to help in the process of going out my undercut. When my hair is down like this, it's so easy to forget that I still have the undercut. Like, I have, imagine, basically I'm going to have twice as much hair when I um, sew back on my lock. But the undercut is still here. I'm in the process of going back out. I had my last shave like two or three weeks ago. So hopefully by the end of the year and I can start 2015 with all of my hair again. So that's it for this week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Oh.